What's up, YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? We got another package here from DHL, my favorite carrier. We got the blue alien on deck. Let's get right in here and see what we got. We got a box in here. Okay, so it's one of these ripcord boxes. It's like a case. This looks like it's the King Kong ET100. And it looks like it's the Fly Sky version. So let's pop it open. Check it out. There it is there. We're getting a GMB battery 450. And this is different. They're giving us the stick kind now. A stick battery. Same specs it says. Hopefully it's just as good. Looks like we only have a JST on there. And JST on this. Let's see what accessories do we have in here. The same typical King Kong accessories. We have all the spare props and screws in there for mounting the props. We have the prop removal tool in here. And we have a data cable. USB. It's a USB micro. Micro USB. And we have two of these rubber bands that I like. The battery bands, I like to call them. Different color props in there. Really nice that they're coming in these cases. I love these cases. They're even better than the other ones. The whole craft, the whole aircraft fits inside here with the props and everything on it. Even the prop guards in this case. So we got a nice illustrated detailed instructions manual. Looks like it's in another language though. I'm guessing we probably have English on one of these sides. Yeah, on this side, on the inside, we have the English. And that's all we have. Let's close this box, slide it back. And let's have a look at this ET100. They all come with this plastic covering on it now. Yeah. So this is the smallest out of the bunch, and this one is kind of large compared to a tiny whoop anyhow. Check this out. This is one of my whoops that I made, and this thing is huge, humongous compared to one of those. This is the Bold Clash B whoop. So this thing is kind of big. And this is the Torrent. So this thing is a little smaller than the actual blade torrent. Looks like that's what they're modeling this after. So a little larger, a little smaller than the blade torrent. And my ET125, I actually took the rings off it. But we still can compare it. It's in bad shape right now, but check it out. Just about the same footprint as that without the rings on it. So this should be an, an okay indoor flyer. Being that I was flying the, I was able to fly my 125 indoors. <laughs> and this one should be a little better. It has these props on it. These props don't provide a lot of thrust. But I'm pretty sure we can probably swap these props out. But we're going to test them stock first. We're going to test this thing stock first. It's the F, not FR Sky, this is the Fly Sky Bind and Fly, supposedly. Most likely I'll be flying this with my Devo 10 with deviation. And this thing looks like it's going to be a pretty sturdy. The rings are a little smaller, so that should make them a little more tough. I did actually break one of my rings on my ET125. I can't really tell it was this one here, but it's really tough again because I use some epoxy on there. Epoxy is the best thing for these little plastic parts and stuff that we're getting with these because epoxy is very strong. It's the best thing that I've been using. It's better than all the other glues and super glue, crazy glue, cement glue, you name it. Epoxy is better in my opinion. So let's see, these motors are Sunny Sky motors, but they're 1103 motors. 
can't see the KV on them. 1103, 7800 KV. So the same exact KV as the other series from King Kong. The egg series, the smaller ones had these 1103 motors. As well as the GT series, the 95 GT and the 90 had small motors like this. Same KV anyhow, 7800 KV and they were 1103 but these are sunny skies so I'm expecting these to be a little better, more power. And so you guys can expect some flight footage of this thing coming up really soon and ultimately a quick review or full review. It's the King Kong ET-100. Thanks for watching.